Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. So I was actually in the middle of editing two hours worth of footage for this video, which I filmed a couple of hours ago, and I realized the audio sounds like this. So yeah, here we are again. Unfortunately, I had to learn that my mic was broken the hard way. So today I'll be sharing my fall and winter favorites, essentials, things I cannot live without 2023 edition. I've prepared three categories of items, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I'm going to start out with beauty. This is all of my goodies I would want to share today. I have them all in this basket. Oh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of things in here. I want to start out talking about body care. My holy grail, the necessary, the body lotion. This is the third jar I've purchased. I'm almost finished with it. As you can see, it is extremely wrinkly. I was trying my best to get every single bit out. This is by far the best body lotion I have ever used. I've tried multiple types of body lotion and for me personally, I have a few boxes that needs to be checked with body lotions. I do not like fragrance. I need a consistency to be thick enough for my body to feel moisturized. I also want the consistency to be spreadable. I do not like sticky, oily residue. This one actually checks all the boxes. Unfortunately, their biggest size is 200 milliliters. I think this is the standard one. It is on the more expensive end. However, I still have yet to find a dupe. If you know of any dupes, please comment down below because I need to know. Next category of items is hair care. Two things I want to share. First one is a scalp massager that you could use when you shampoo. Looks like this. The one I have right here is from Relaxing Work. I got this when I was in Japan. And since then, I've been really loving it. I've been using it every time I shower and wash my hair. Sometimes when you feel lazy, then you don't really want to use your fingers to wash your scalp. This is perfect. And plus, I heard that scalp massage actually will make your hair grow faster. That's something that I really want. It feels super relaxing having it massage my scalp and it foams up your shampoo super well. The next item is this Shiseido Fino Premium Hair Oil. People have been raving about this in combination with the hair mask and the same collection. And basically, I heard that like if you put this in the hair mask, mix it together, put it on your hair and wash it, it's supposed to look like the hair you see in Asian shampoo commercials. I have yet to try that, but this is also by far the best hair oil I've used. In the past, I've used Moroccan oil. I've also used the hair oil by Amika. Um, both of them are great, but there are some issues that push me to search for other hair oils. The Amika hair oil and the Moroccan hair oil has too thick of a consistency. They actually don't work in pumping bottles like this. So the other ones, it's like in a glass bottle, we have to pour it out on your hand and I could never control the right amount and I always put too much. I do not like hair oil that's too thick. First of all, because it's hard to spread on my hair. Second of all, it's hard to control the amount. So every time you do it, if you put too much on your hair, it makes your hair look sturdy and greasy instead of like the luscious, you know, moisturized look that you're looking for. I switched to this one because it's a pumping bottle and every time I use it, it's the right amount. Texture is less thick so it's easier to apply on my hair plus it does not have a super strong smell so every time i finish using it it's just like not in my face you know next up i want to share my hand cream this is from a soap a hand balm in mandarin rind rosemary leaf and Seder atlas it is on the citrusy side it is pretty fruity but it's less floral which i like and the Seder undertone also has an earthier note to it it smells really good after it stays on your hand. It is on a stickier side, but for me personally, it is not an issue for hand cream because when I apply hand cream, I only put it at the back of my hand and I just kind of like rub it like this. So I never put hand cream on the inside of my hands or my palm. Highly recommend, it's also a great gift. This is perfect for the weather. And every time they use it, they'll think about you. That's a win. Moving on, I have this room spray from APFR in the scent Moss Swamp. This is actually a Japanese fragrance brand. I got this when I was in Japan and this actually left a quite an impression on me. It's hard to describe scent, so bear with me. I personally prefer earthy, 
green grassy notes in my fragrance this is exactly that i like the green smell but at the same time it does have floral undertones so it's not just like grass straight in your face when you just finish a fresh load of laundry and you just spray it on your sheets or just spray it in your closet sometimes you don't want scents that are too strong or overwhelming this is perfect and it just makes my room smells like a little forest it's beautiful the next item i want to share is a face roller from Rifa. it's actually very dainty and small it comes in this little pouch i think a lot of you guys may know Rifa is a really famous brand for facial massagers. There's a few reasons why I like them. I've tried out a few facial massage tools. I've tried the jade green crystal ones that you can find on Amazon, the one that everybody raved about. I also have the version of it in the roller form. I found that those two don't really work that well with my skin personally i do not like the feeling of my skin being dragged too hard i like more strength and some more focused areas and smaller spots but i also like smoothness that the big stone can bring to my skin and this is actually a good combination of the both if you could see the four little balls on this side actually can move and they turn really smoothly i like to use this side for more vulnerable dainty areas like around my eyes my nose around my lips because they can move on my skin without dragging my skin too much. you can also use these individual little balls to focus massaging on one spot you know like this like this part i like to do it a lot so i can do it at the back of my ear another thing i really love about this is that I have neck issues with my spine so i love doing neck massages and this is perfect for it you basically can just roll it against your skin and it does not hurt a single bit but also it just still gives this amount of strength that you need as you can see it's like just goes up super smoothly it's like a little car you know like the little toy cars on the other side it looks like, you know, the normal gua sha tool, but actually the silver part is way colder to touch than the red part. So if you put this in the fridge, it's going to be able to ice your face, get rid of inflammation. It is dainty, it's small, it's portable, but it does the job and it literally can do any type of massages on your face. I really, really stand behind this. Moving on, I want to introduce four lip products. I want to start out with this DHC lip balm and it's literally my favorite lip balm. I don't like lip balms that are too thick because they leave a sticky residue on my lip. I don't like that because it just gets everywhere. My hair gets stuck to it. I can't really apply lipsticks on top of it. This actually has a really similar consistency to how butter melts on your skin when you touch it or when butter melts on toast. Like it has no color no scent i love using this in the morning especially before i have to put on makeup so by the time i get to my lips my lips are perfectly moisturized the other three lip products i am going to introduce is actually all tinted the first one i want to talk about is this Roman liquid lipstick tint oh the color i have is 23 nucadamia and i actually just purchased another color in the same collection because it's so good it's actually what I'm wearing right now. As you can see, it leaves a glossy finish on my lips. It's also pigmented enough. Also, it's not super oily and shiny. It's super easy to apply. You can do a thin layer like that, but you could also layer it to make it, you know, darker. As you can see, it's way darker on my lips. It makes my lips feel so moisturized when I'm using it. In the winter and fall, I love like just the glowy look, the glowy skin. I don't really like matte stuff because my skin is dry. Next up, it's two tinted lip balms from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the shade Romance Kiss and Happy Petal. I actually have three other shades in this collection, but these two are the ones I use the most often because they're very natural looking. They do the job of lip balms, which means that they keep my lips very moisturized, but at the same time, they are very pigmented in a way that does not make my lips feel super dry. You can see this pigment is crazy. That sums up 
everything I have for beauty. So we're going to move on to fashion. For fall and winter, I think one of the key things that will really make her outfit pop is accessorizing. Because I live in New York, it's really cold in the winter. And honestly, sometimes it's way too windy or rainy to wear like a cute trench coat, you know? So accessorizing is a key. And I'm still trying to do better at accessorizing my outfits and just styling it. I have a few items that I want to share to you that I love. The first one is actually a hairband from Sandy Liam black satin ribbon, but it's extremely long. So adds so much more drama to my outfit. Put it on for you. Because I have dark hair, you can't really see it at first. Then when the wind blows, you'll just see two super long strands of ribbon. So cute. Adds a little more dimension to my hair makes me feel like a little princess. Fun fact, when I first learned about ballet court, I was really against it because I actually was forced to do ballet growing up and I hated it. It's just not a sport or art form that is designed for your body naturally. It is super harsh on you. It's painful. I do not like that. I don't like to put my body through pain. So when they first started talking about this ballet core thing, I was like, this is trauma for me. But I finally came to terms with it. I realized that I could hate ballet, but I'm not gonna let it get in my way of embracing my girlhood. So shout out to my ballet core girlies. Thank you for bringing my inner child out again. Second item, mini scarves or skinny scarves. Actually one time I was hooking up with a guy and he wore a really skinny scarf to our date and I thought it was really sexy. I stopped seeing him, but I never stopped wearing skinny scarves. So shout out to that guy. This one is from Paloma Wool. I got it at their pop-up last year in New York. I think they just gave off a really different feel than normal big scarves because they are very dainty. And also I think it's a lot sexier, you know? It's just like it's so cute. It just works with any outfit and it also keeps you warm, which is very important. The other one I have is just a lace one. I actually thrifted this. Sometimes I like to fold it like this. Do the same thing. It's so cute. It adds so much more texture to your outfit. You wear it like this. You can also throw it. Just perfect. They're so sexy for some reason. I don't know why. Next up, beanies. I love, love, love beanies in the winter because sometimes you just really don't want to do your hair or your hair is dirty. Beanie is here for the rescue and it keeps you warm. This one is on a longer end. That's why when I wear it, I like to fold the back up a little like this. I feel like a skater boy. I like it. I like it. Do you get what I'm talking about? Some earrings here. Super cute. The next thing I want to share is also a hair accessory. Hand knitted hairband. In the winter, I love these kind of baby blues, baby pinks. Lightens up your whole outfit in the winter. You get the idea. You could wear this with like a half pony, a high pony, some braids. It's perfect. The last fashion item are my gloves. They're from Paloma Wool. I love gloves that give a pop of color. You could wear an all black, all white outfit and boom. They're so sexy. How cute. The last section is lifestyle slash tech. So, I have two things I want to share today. My Muji humidifier. I've had this for like probably five, six years now. This is their smallest size one. I just feel like humidifiers are a must-have in winters and fall, especially if you live in somewhere that's cold and you have the heater on all the time. It's important to have your skin and your hair stay hydrated, but also the air surrounding you needs to be moisturized and humid too. I honestly would recommend you getting a bigger sized one with a larger water compartment so it will run for a long Longer time. Turn this on before you go to bed and just have it run when you're sleeping. And the next one is a neck massager. This one is from Uski. Uski. It's a Chinese brand, I think. My mom actually got this for me because, as I've mentioned, I have issues with my neck and as you know a lot of you out there are probably sitting at your desk for multiple hours a day you might just be sitting there stiff as a stick or have really weird posture like for me personally if i have had a really long day working at the desk i would just have a hard time stretching so this is perfect if you have neck problems or if you work at a desk or you work at home this really comes in handy you can just pop it on like so 
and turn it on right here this one also heats up so imagine a massage for your neck but it's also warm that's literally heaven you can also bring this on a plane i really highly recommend everybody to get one it's also like a really good birthday gift even if you don't have like neck or spine issues this is really good as like a little self-care step in your routine just pop a mask on have this around your neck watch a little movie have some snacks perfect thank you so much for watching today's video and always thank you so much for being here and if you have other dupes that you want to recommend to me please leave that in the comments as well i'll see you in my next video bye